your lunch. It was delicious. I had chicken fingers. What did you have? I had chicken fingers as well. We're really good at this grown-up thing. So we're back and we're going to be putting Pinterest pumpkins to the test. But first we wanted to check in with our three contestants who are participating in our carving contest. Sanjay is looking very confident. Is he overconfident? I don't know. We'll find out at 3 p.m. We hope you guys will come back and join us because you get to vote for the winner. Yeah. Aiden's very excited. Okay, let's put some pumpkins to the test. Okay. What are we going to start with, Mandy? We are going to start with trying to use a cookie cutter to cut out your shapes instead of carving the pumpkin. Oh, that's a good idea. I know. I was pretty excited about seeing this one because it seemed really fast and easy. And most people have sort of a cookie cutter at home. Um, so the instructions I read online were place your cookie cutter, use a block so that the hammer has something to hammer into. You can also use a rubber mallet. I sort of have a feeling that this will um, Hurt your rubber mallet, but you can try it. Okay, you ready? Yes. You guys ready? Okay, you hold. <laughs> okay. Hey, it's in a little bit. Okay. Yeah. It's hard because the the cookie cutter shape is not round. You know what? It's kind of going in. Oh, oh good. Should I keep going? I think should keep trying. Okay. It's actually working a little bit better than the first time I tested it. So I have hope, people. Hey, look at that! That's a star. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Hey, hey look at that! It kind of works. Oh, Pinterest nailed it! Nailed it! Look at this. Okay. Okay, this wait. is the worst pumpkin to test with, but you know. <laughs> it looks pretty good. Did you feel like that was a lot of effort though? No, it actually isn't, but I have to say the first few times I did try this, it did not work, so I was expecting this to be a fail. Oh, But okay. maybe you just need to be on live TV and then it'll work. And then it works. Okay, let's try, the try one more just for fun. Because I feel like a star is a pretty big shape. This is more intricate. Yeah. What do you think? Aiden's going to help out. We're going to keep your little fingers away from the hammer. Gym required. <laughs> this is your day. arm workout for the day. Oh, oh, my God. oh. mostly worked. Oh, it's okay. There's a good little uh, tidbit. It's a bit of a risk that it'll slice your pumpkin. But ghost, what do you think? Ada? Oh, that's pretty. Do you like it? Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, do you want the ghost? Let's see. Here, a stringy, spooky ghost for you. Okay. <laughs> okay. So okay, I'm calling it. Nailed it. Nailed it. Okay. I like hey. it. Nailed it. All right. It's cool. It's pretty cool. And good if you're not you're not good at drying. Yes. Just use a cookie cutter. And then afterwards, quick wash them and make some sugar cookies with the yeah. cookie cutter. <laughs> They'll be delicious. Okay. The next one, I was very excited about this one because everyone wants a really good idea for a no carved pumpkin. But the problem with the no carved pumpkin is they generally don't light up. So this one is actually a glow-in-the-dark paint. This is drippy, not last minute at all. <laughs> um, just imagine a nicer happens. face. So uh, in order to amp up the glow-in-the-dark quality, I've painted it neon pink first. This okay. is a fake pumpkin. Just because if you're gonna do a paint job or a no-carb, you might wanna keep this for next year. Yeah, that's great, right? Okay, Aiden, what do you think? How does, do you wanna paint it a little bit? So this is dry right now, but we have put about four coats of paint on it. Okay, so that's, okay. that's a lot of coats, so this should work. Okay, so we're going to turn out the lights. It's going to be a little bit spooky in here. I hope you guys are prepared. Let's see. Ready? We are going to turn out the lights. It just takes a second. Does it work? Here we go. Did it work? Oh. Oh. Do you guys see it? Anyone in the audience? Does it feel? Do you feel like it's glowing? Can you tell I'm moving it? Can you see any of us? <laughs> <laughs> what a bummer! All right, lights back on, Maestro. Nah, okay. nah, nah, nah. <laughs> Sorry, this takes a little bit of time. So. 
I have a little bit of hope that there are a few other products out there you could try. There is like a uh, 3D paint. What is that stuff called? The oh, like the puff paint? Puff paint that comes in a glow in the dark. I think because of the density and saturation of that paint, it might work. I haven't tested it yet. But this four, la four layers is a lot of layers. Yeah. These are not super cheap either. This was a $13 bottle of paint. It goes on, it's, it's not like the typical acrylic paint that has a good coverage. Yeah. It's very sheer, takes so many coats. I don't recommend it. Okay. I'm gonna say, failed Pinterest it. Pinterest fail. Fail, I don't like it. <laughs> But a good idea in theory. In theory. Try the puffy paint, maybe, and someone could let us know. Okay, Aiden, I need you. For this. Science experiment time. Are you ready? Yes. This is, we're going to do okay, a pumpkin volcano. <laughs> okay. You need dish soap, vinegar, baking soda, soda, and if you want to like add a color, some food coloring. We are going to make a pumpkin volcano. However, I pre-carved this guy, and I used the white just so you could really see it come out. I'm gonna set him up. I'm we haven't tried this yet. I haven't tried this at we all. Don't. So I'm putting it in a bin. I think it's gonna be messy. Contain your mess. But it's fun to try with kids. Okay, Aiden, do you want to come around beside me? Or beside and you were saying some good tips yeah. for this. What they recommended online is smaller cutouts so that when it does come out, it really comes out, and a smaller pumpkin. I happen to choose a big pumpkin, but I have faith. I have <laughs> We're going to really test this yes. theory. We're going to add. So it suggests one or two drops of soap. I think we're going to add a bit more. We're going to put a little more than one or two drops. Yeah. That's it. Just okay. soap in. What do you think, Anne? Do you think we need more? Yes. Okay. We'll see what happens. This do could be come up on the a disaster on, on air. Here. Okay. Then food coloring. Food coloring. Okay. I'm going to hold it, and you're going to squeeze it. You want to squeeze it? You can pick your kid's favorite color, or if you want to be very typical Halloween, okay. you can do orange or green. Okay, now we need baking soda. Okay. Now, how much baking soda? It says a few tablespoons. We're going to wing it. More. Really, let's More. amp this up. Okay. Do you think good enough? One, a little bit more. Another shake. Okay. Shake, shake, shake. Now is for the magic part. Okay, Aiden. You're gonna pour. I'm a little nervous in. about this. <laughs> We've never done this before. Let's see what happens. Do you think it's gonna work? Pour it in. Keep Whoa! Pouring. Keep pouring. Keep pouring. Okay. Well. <laughs> Whoa. Do you think maybe Whoa. like? Let's add more baking soda. Maybe more vinegar. We really Wait. have are hoping this is gonna work. Is it working? Oh! Oh! Oh, oh there it goes! This pumpkin looks like she's in labor, but it's okay. <laughs> Very appropriate for yes. the magazine. Okay, you ready? A little bit more. Whoa, okay. It's pretty cool. Aiden, what do you think? Is it cool, cool. or not cool? Cool. Okay. It's pretty cool. Aiden gives it a thumbs up. I think it's, this is actually a really fun thing to do with your kids. It's a messy, but you can put it in a bucket, and if the results aren't explosive, no big deal. No big deal. I think, I think it's, it's kind of like a, a spooky. A throwing up. <laughs> you could also just then wipe it out and redo it if you have friends come over on Halloween night. Yeah. Maybe add a little floodlight or something. Yeah. That's pretty cute. Fun. You sip a lot of vinegar. I will say that it is full of this concoction, yeah. so it's going to be quite hard to transport. So, yes, and also smaller pumpkin. Yeah, I think you got to use a smaller pumpkin. Okay. Go big or go home, right? right. But mm, yeah. not in this case. Okay. All right, let's, let's clean up, Aiden. <laughs> yeah. It's stinky. Okay. Oh, God. That's a really heavy one. Those the white pumpkins are really heavy. They're a lot denser. They have a thicker wall, and they're a little bit harder to carve. That's great because there was a question earlier, and we will be answering questions. So if you have them, put them in the comments below. But someone asked if there's the, a best type of pumpkin to carve. So avoid the white ones. I don't say avoid them. I like them to carve, but, but they are. They, they might take a bit more time, and they are a lot heavier and thicker. Okay, so this one is a mummy pumpkin. And um, what I saw online is it's pretty simple. All you do is wrap some gauze and then add some googly eyes. And you could totally do this with kids. So, so I have um, this two. This will be a, a Pinterest. Win? Win. Okay. 
So I've got two thumbtacks. I'm going to start the gauze and then I'm going to get eight in to wrap it. We're going to wrap the pumpkin just like a mummy. Okay, so pop in the, the thumbtacks. Okay. All right, ready. wrapping time. You hand it to me. I feel like we need some spooky, like, yeah, right? monster mash or something. How's it going over here, Ooh. guys? Um, some people are branching out and using washi tape. We're going to allow it. <gasps> Technically, not carving, but you know what? <laughs> We, award, we, we think that people will reward you for your creativity. Thank you. Emily's looking pretty mm -hmm. confident now, too. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Aiden? Do you have a favorite so far? Yeah. Which one? No. Nobody's. <laughs> okay, this is actually pretty cute. Is it working? Okay, it I'm going to steal pretty mummy -ish to me. And this is just one roll of gauze. Yeah, I think you need more gauze. I stole mine from my first aid kit this morning. Probably not a good idea. <laughs> but... Well, it's good we have it in case there is like an injury. And around all the knives, it's good to have some. You know, if someone cuts a thumb off, we're okay. prepared. Let's try a googly eye. These are already have a sticker on the back. I just got these at a dollar store or a craft store. You can get them. Okay, I'm gonna turn it around for you to do. Where do you want to put the eyes? This is a good kid-friendly Pinterest one. Whereas okay. the cookie cutter, which worked, was not super kid-friendly. Okay, where does this one go? Oh. Very important, the eye okay. placement. Hey, okay, you ready? Mummy pumpkin. Oh okay. my gourd. Oh my gourd. <laughs> I'm giving it a nailed it. Nailed it. A bit more gauze. A bit more gauze, but super cute. Yeah. What do you super think, Aiden? Do you like it? Yeah. Okay. And it'll look pretty cool when you put a if you put a tea light in it. Yes. Okay. Ooh. We're all gonna need a back massage after lifting yes. these pumpkins. Chiropractors, please okay. make comments. Yes. <laughs> Again? Okay. Yep, there's more. So this is more of a household utilitarian thing that I saw. Was so how to prevent your pumpkin from getting gross and disgusting. Yes. Moldy, dried out, you know. Um, a lot of people like to do their pumpkins the weekend before Halloween and then you want it to last. So one tip is keep it in a cold spot on your porch. If it's away from animals, they might eat off the face, which you probably know. Which happens. Um, or a cold, uh, dry basement works. So I, I did this a week ago, so he's been sitting, Whoa. and it's been warm out in Toronto, so, so this pumpkin he's a little scary it. inside. This side is Vaseline, and this side is not Vaseline. So we wanted to see if this, and I did a very intricate lettering just to see on the detail if it worked. And I actually, it does work. It does work. Like it is better. It is really sticky though. I was going to say, then, it's quite a... And quite a feeling. Dirt, if anything goes near it, sticks to it because it's like... Oh. So I actually use like a, a baby nocturnal. This is what I have at home. Challenge For baby me. bums and pumpkins. Yes. And you just like, is there a tip? So you just like literally lube up your pumpkin. Yeah, nice. Rub and did it you in. put it, like, do you have to put it all over just where it's carved? I put it on this half over okay. here. And then it I, looks pretty good. It's, it kind of works, right? It kind of works. I did it also on some bigger shapes so you could see. You can actually see this guy is really caving in a lot more. Yeah. And it is drier. Um, but I this don't, one is nice and firm better, right? still. The other tip that is on everywhere online on um, Pinterest is to use a ble bleach solution inside. You can wash your pumpkin with it. I feel a bit weird about the bleach, whether like your pumpkins might be around animals yeah, or like what the outdoor wildlife. Or, I don't know. And the, the, they are a bit absorbent, but if you do want it to last, you could keep it away from those elements. And instead of making a homemade uh, bleach solution, I actually just use a bathroom bleach cleaner. Oh, okay. It's the same sort of thing, and it's a lot more convenient. Getting a little spray thing, you might already have it at home. And so, just spray it in? Did you so wipe I it? So I sprayed it in and wiped it. And you okay. can actually see this side has been sprayed, and it's pretty clear. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. But this side was not, and it's pretty yucky. Ugh. Moldy is growing. Don't get too close, Aiden. I stinky. think we have a question. Yeah, we have a question uh, connected to the Vaseline. Does Vaseline keep the squirrels away? I don't know. I didn't keep it outside because I do have squirrels. The ants loved it. <laughs> oh, so the same. <laughs> but maybe um, a con. Ants like the Vaseline. Yeah, I'm not. I don't think it would keep the squirrels away, to be honest. Um, so this is, I think it works to a degree. I like better, my solution was actually just using a bit of olive oil in the rag. <laughs> oh. It kept it not totally sealed, but it kept it a lot more moist. 
it's not as sticky and yeah. gross, and it makes your pumpkin shine really well, and you can actually use it to clean your pumpkin. Oh, that's a great hack. That's, and everyone has that. I like that better. Yeah, because I will say, the Vaseline is now on my hands, yeah. and it's not a pleasant feeling. No. Okay, okay. so what? I think vegetable, or olive oil. Nailed it. Nailed it. Vaseline. Eh. Eh. Yeah. Okay. The bleach? It does, it does work. Depends. If you have yeah. a dog or a cat, or yeah. if your kids are going to touch it, yeah, maybe. not yeah. a great hack. I don't love it. I don't love okay. it either. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and in case you're wondering, this awesome quote that Mandy carved into this pumpkin, that's not a monster, that's my mother, that was a lovely quote from Ada. My three-year-old daughter. Yes. <laughs> okay. I'm pretty, pretty excited about this okay. next one. Are this is excited? a showstopper, guys. I've never tried it. We're trying it right now for you guys. It is a crayon pumpkin. I feel like I've seen this everywhere. Me too. We're going to try it. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. I don't it know. Yet, but we're going to see. So we're going to keep Aiden away from the hot air. Yes. Sorry, okay. Aiden. So all I did before we went live was I hot glued the crayons on. The hot glue does melt your crayons a little bit, so you just got to hold it until it sets. If you happen to put um, complementary colors together, like a blue and an orange here, when it comes together, it is going to make a brown. <laughs> but if you have like a, a blue and a green, you're just going to get a greeny blue. Okay. So you might want to just think about when you're placing your crayons. And you could do this with an orange pumpkin too. Totally. Okay. Well, we're going to find out if it actually works. So yeah. It might not be worth doing. With so it. all you need apparently is a blow dryer, and you're just going to melt it. Aiden, do you think it's going to work? Aiden has faith, guys. I put on the diffuser bit end, is that what it's called? Because yeah. I feel like it might force the air. Yeah, more out. like streamlined. Okay, let's try. Da, da, da. Da, da, da. I feel like I need some Beyonce. Can I blow your hair? Uh, okay. So far, nothing is happening. Okay, this okay. is very disappointing. All right, we have a question. 
actually have some good tips. That okay. We oh, okay. 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 We need to on the pumpkins. Okay. Um, Amy suggested maybe putting the pumpkin in the oven on a lower heat. Whoa. That's what I'm work. Saying. You could. Um, Do you Emily, think that would like melt your like make your pumpkin soggy? Oh, would it cook mm. the inside? I don't know. I don't know. We don't um, have an oven. A broil. Emmeline said you could put it in the oven for um, to broil or maybe use a creme brulee torch. Yes. Oh, that's a good and idea. Then, not creme brulee torches are not kid, kid friendly, but yes, that's okay. Yep. And um, Helen also suggested maybe a heat gun instead of a yes. hairdryer. Yeah, that's yes. good. Yeah. I'm gonna say the hair dryer. Don't try the hair dryer. And I think that would suck a lot of energy. No. Yeah, it would. Okay. Is this disappointing? Oh, well, this was our big finale. This is a very lackluster finale, guys. I'm really sorry. But our carvers are still going. I think they've gone a little bit rogue yes. from Aiden's <laughs> original drawings. They really want your votes. So please come back at 3 p.m. and vote because we are going to have our big reveal of their awesome pumpkins. And we are also going to go beyond carving. So we're going to show you just different things you can do. One uh, thing we're going to look at is the cross-stitch pumpkin, which is pretty cool. Pretty awesome. Okay. So we hope you come back at 3 o'clock when we're going to show you how to jack your lantern. See you guys then. Bye. 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 Say bye, Aiden. Bye. <laughs>